What if we took our favorite new laptop of 2015 so far and gave it much better battery life? I'm Dan Ackerman and this is the Dell XPS 13 non-touch edition. Uh, this is a less expensive version of the Dell XPS 13 that we first saw at CES back in January of this year and reviewed in a very high-end configuration, one that had a 3200 by 1800 touchscreen, a very nice uh, laptop. Performance was fine, battery life Again, it was fine. We got about seven hours out of it in our battery tests. But Dell said, you know what? We've got a different configuration that's probably going to do a lot better. Let us send that to you. This is a less expensive, not more expensive, a less expensive configuration of the same XPS 13, uh, notable for its very thin screen bezel. You really get screen almost to the edge of the whole body right here. Uh, this just has a 1920 by 1080, a standard HD screen, and it's a non-touch screen. So this configuration comes out to about $899, uh, certainly a lot less than the uh, $1,200 or $1,300 you're going to pay for the higher res touch version of it. Now, doing our battery test, we found that this thing actually did a lot better. It ran for 12 hours on a battery test, which is MacBook Air territory. That's amazing. Either Dell has done something in this configuration to, to further optimize it for battery, or frankly, powering that big 3200 by 1800 screen with the uh, touch overlay was just draining a lot of power. So if you're saying to yourself, this system cost less and lasts longer. What's not to like about it? I do have a couple of things that are holding me back. Uh, one is I miss the touch screen. This is a non-touch display, and frankly, the touch pads on these are not uh, as great as the ones you'll find on, let's say, a MacBook. So you're going to want to reach up and touch the screen occasionally for navigation. Uh, dropping it, uh, I, I think, is, is kind of annoying. You also don't get the edge-to-edge -edge glass over the display, uh, which, which means that the screen is, is, is inset from, from the bezel here. Uh, it's not quite as slick looking, although some people will prefer, you see, the matte finish right here as opposed to the glossy finish on the touch version. The big problem, of course, is that you don't have anything in the middle. What I'd love to see is an XPS 13 with a standard 1920 by 1080 touchscreen, and if you give me 9 or 10 hours of battery life out of that, I, I think that would be the best of both worlds. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Dell XPS 13 non-touch version.